Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a tropical terrarium. A terrarium is a miniature indoor garden that's planted in a glass container. And these little miniature gardens create their own ecosystem. With a tropical terrarium, you wanna use a glass container that has a lid because these plants like to stay nice and humid. Let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a glass container. Mine measures about 10 inches high and it's about nine inches in diameter. So it gives me a lot of space to work with my plants. Then you'll need some small rocks or aquarium gravel. I found this at my local hardware store in the garden center. And then you'll need some activated charcoal. I got this from the pet store. It comes in a lot of different um, type some of it actually looks like charcoal some of its very fine and the charcoal I'm using in this tutorial is in little pellets and Then you'll need some soil that works for the plants that you're planting So this is just an all-purpose potting soil and then for our tropical terrarium We're actually going to use three types of moss the first is a sheet moss and you can find this at most garden centers and um, nurseries and then this is a decorative moss and this is optional I just like the different colors and textures and the last one is called sphagnum moss this is actually going to create a little barrier between our dirt and our rocks to keep it all looking nice and pretty and fresh and clean and I just love the layer it it leaves in the terrarium it looks really cool then the last thing you'll need which is the fun part is some plants so when you check with your local nursery or garden center, um, make sure that you get plants that all require the same types of water and sunlight so that they can grow together and make sure that they're not going to get bigger than your terrarium. And then you'll need a little paintbrush. We're gonna use this to keep everything nice and clean in our terrarium. And then this part's optional also, but I'm going to put this cute little unicorn in my terrarium to kind of personalize it and make it fun. You can use shells from vacations or cool rocks you found or any little items that you want to put in your terrarium. Okay, let's get started. All right, obviously the first step is to take the lid off of your glass container and you want to fill it up with some of your rocks. You want one to two inches of the rocks in the bottom of your glass container. Then grab your activated carbon or activated charcoal. This is gonna filter our water and keep our water nice and fresh in our terrarium and keep it from smelling funny. You just wanna sprinkle a layer over the rocks to cover the rocks. And you'll notice I don't take the charcoal all the way out to the edges of my terrarium because I don't really want them to show there. The next step is to grab your sphagnum moss and it is a lot easier to work with if you get it wet so I put mine just in this little pitcher of water and then I squeeze it out and I'm going to put about a one inch layer over my activated carbon and this is once again just going to create a barrier between the soil so the soil doesn't drip down and get into our rocks and it's just going to keep it looking really pretty and add another tropical kind of layer to our terrarium. So you can see I've got my one to two inches of rocks and then my charcoal and then my sphagnum moss. Then it's time to add your soil. So working slowly, I just put in a few inches of the soil and what you want to do is make sure that you have enough soil to cover the roots. So a good rule of thumb is to look at the containers that your plants come in and kind of use that to gauge the amount of soil you need. So I've got my rocks, my charcoal, my sphagnum moss, and then I have a few inches of the dirt on top of that. Now you're gonna grab your plants and I like to kind of arrange them before I start planting them to kind of get an idea of how I want them to lay in my terrarium. And so I place them, it's, keep in mind the different levels and sizes of the plants. And I want this to look like a tropical garden. So once I've decided where I'm gonna put them, I grab my plants and I'm just going to remove them from the pots and then carefully take away the excess dirt and potting soil and just loosen up the roots. And then I make a little indentation and I plant my plant. Now, if you want to use a spoon in this part, you can. Some people use chopsticks or tongs to make it easier. Because I'm using such a large container, it was easier for me to just use my hands, but definitely gauge how to put your plants in depending on the size of your container. You also wanna keep that in mind when you decide how many plants to plant in your container. So I'm just arranging these in different spots. 
and I want it to look like this lush, just mossy garden. So once I have them all arranged, you wanna make sure that you level out the dirt and, and make sure that it's packed nicely around your plants. And then you can grab your paintbrush and use that to clean off any of the leaves or the flowers that have any dirt on them. This is the easiest way to keep your terrarium just looking nice and pretty. So this is what we have so far. The next part, you're gonna grab your sheet moss. And this just tears apart. It comes in big sheets. I found this at the craft store. I've seen it at garden centers. And it's nice because it just gives this lush grassy layer to your terrarium. So I break it off in little pieces to fit into my terrarium. And I just start adding it in small sections until I have the whole bottom of my terrarium covered in this really pretty moss. And you can see it just adds this really lush green texture to your terrarium. Then I'm going to grab my decorative moss. And I liked this just for the different colors. I like the variety and the different textures. And this is purely for decoration. So this part is completely optional. And I'm just going to add some of this as decoration in different spots because I liked the variety it added to my, my terrarium. Just makes it look more like a tropical lush garden. So I have my different little textures and colors. And last but not least, I'm adding my little unicorn to personalize my terrarium. You wanna water it really good and put the lid on it. If it gets too humid on the inside of it, you'll start to see a lot of condensation on the side. So just take the lid off for a little bit and you're good to go. And that's it. These are a lot of fun to make. It's a great way to bring the outdoors into your home and they're really easy to care for. So a lot of fun to make. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. That would be amazing. And please give this tutorial a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also check out my cactus and succulent terrarium. It's more of a desert terrarium. That's also a really fun terrarium to make. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.